So I just want to touch on the idea of succession planning. So succession planning, if you're in business, is really important because if you don't have a management team in the business, um, it's very hard to sell the business. It tends to get sold with you in it. So you end up getting stuck in some kind of long-term earnout or something like that. We actually had a Harbour Clubber who did the Harbour Club three times in total. And the first time he came, he learned the merger strategy, but didn't listen to me on the succession planning one. And so he merged with another company and basically he became the CEO of the new group and the other guy kind of retired and, and sat on the beach. Now, when it came to an exit, he got an offer and it was quite a big offer. It was about 19 million pounds they were offered, but it was half in cash to the guy that was sitting on a beach and half in shares that would be vested after five years to the guy that had founded the business, grown it, and was um, the lead on that merger. So the lesson to that story is, uh, well, apart, apart from the entrepreneur always gets fucked, <laughs> the lesson is don't be in the driving seat when you sell the business. You need to be non-executive in the business. You need to have somebody else running it. Now, this is where it gets tricky because if you try and hire a CEO, you can have terrible problems because most CEOs of small to medium sized businesses are doing the job of three people for the salary of half a person. They have an intricate knowledge of the, of the relationships with the staff, with the customers, how the whole thing works, how the landscape for that industry works. And so bringing in a big hitter from a large corporate doesn't always work because they can't adapt to all of that workload and understanding that they need to get in such a short space of time. And if somebody's from a small business who's available, there might be something wrong with them. Why are they looking for a job? Why aren't they currently working for somebody else? So the view that I take is that if you want to find someone that's really good at running a business that looks like yours, they're probably running a business that looks like yours. So find a competitor, find a company that has a management team in place who are doing a decent job and merge with that company or acquire that company and bring their team in to be the executive team to run both businesses. You can then move into a non-executive role so you can become strategic in the business and you can focus on finding a buyer for the whole group or finding the next acquisition or focused on those things that really drive shareholder value instead of being stuck in the CEO role and the customer value role. Plus now you've got a management team that you can sell the business with.